the turning up in the rain like this, it is just terrific to see how much support is developing for this campaign. And we've had over a thousand uh, signatures on our petition going to management. We've had letters going to the Vice Chancellor. And we really do hope that this will be successful and some sanity will prevail here in that we will understand that a union member doing their job as a union member, turning up, bargaining on behalf of fellow workers at the university, have every right to do so without being oppressed in their job and, and suffering the sort of surveillance that has happened to, uh, to Simon. And to be then, after surveillance like that, calling it serious misconduct is just an absolute outrage. I was served this dossier of allegations without the dignity of the opportunity for a workplace meeting. It was served on me, I had no notice of what this was concerning. I was given uh, practically no uh, uh, effective notice that this was going to happen. I can say that the 500 UTS staff who signed our petition expressing their deep dissatisfaction with UTS management's responses to our enterprise bargaining claims are yet to be accorded the courtesy of a response from the Vice-Chancellor. I can say that the management of this university has compiled an aggressive managerialist agenda aimed at slashing back employee entitlements and workplace conditions and protections. Comrades, I mean to be here for some time yet. I thank you for your support and I look forward to standing with you in the fight for a fair and decent workplace. Solidarity, strength, determination. Thank you. What do we want? Union rights. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Union rights. When do we want it? Now. When the union takes the nation's freedom and workers' clubs are wrong, there's indeed a power greater and it better be the sun. Is there anything left for us to do but organize and fight for the union?